Multi.tv. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Australian Beach Ultimate Championships. I am Oakley Ryan. I am joined here by Rob Swan. We're your commentary team for this game of Frisbee Watch in the Red versus Fighter Weapons School. It's great to be here. This is going to be a really exciting game. The Frisbee Watch have got themselves a disc on this point. It's real nice. Some great uniforms coming out. No sleeves for Frisbee Watch and long sleeves. Oh, for Fighter Weapons! <laughs> That was a goal! Tipped on by Dan Blacklock onto Ben Chong there. Incredible. Oh, I thought it was a great D. Great athletic play, got them in hand, but never say die. That's a classic example of catch your D's there, Rob. Always catch your D's, very important. But that's all right, I think. They'll be not too sad about that. It's an easy lesson to learn, and if they keep playing that sort of defense, they'll get a bunch more blocks, and this game should be easy. See how we go, though. Looking to be a good game. Frisbee Watch uh, on the stream previously already got their first W on the board. They'll be uh, searching now for W number two. But I can imagine Fighter Weapon School won't be making that easy for them. Yeah, absolutely. And we're still early on in this tournament. It's a pretty long day. Uh, many games for a lot of teams here. Uh, and then there's a whole other day tomorrow of just a similar pace and similar amount of games. And it's two pools and then straight to semis from there. So pretty challenging format. Um, it's going to see how endurance comes into it for a lot of these teams across the two days. No room for errors, exactly, because it goes straight straight into semis. Uh, fighter Weapon School just punted it long. long. Oh, and a beautiful hop. Very nicely done. Stuart Jinx putting on a masterclass. Milk, milked it nicely. Got the goal. Clinical O there from Fighter Weapons School. Yeah, right. So, 1-1. One, one. Both teams showing their ability to score goals early in this game. But uh, Fighter Weapons School looked a bit cleaner. But it's early days yet. So, it's going to be interesting to see what Frisbee Watch can bring us. Frisbee Watch, mainly a Melbourne team. Uh, Coming up here to, I, to I can only assume, enjoy the sunshine, which is now shining, uh, which is nice to see from the rain that we had this morning. Yeah, absolutely. This is what we've come to expect in these sort of conditions. It's drying up, warming up, and it's going to be some really hot and sweaty afternoon play. But still nice and cool this morning, so there's not much to wind to speak of at the moment. Uh, and it's not too hot. It's quite good conditions. Pull goes up, nice flat pull, fielded by Dylan Lai to Tanya Dodgen. No mark on her yet. Oh, nearly a run through D. Overthrown though. Fighter weapon school. I think there's been a pick on the field. Apologies, we don't, we can't really see what's happening sometimes as there is a very large sideline right in front of us. But it's good to see all the players getting into the game a lot and, you know, hand signals will be really useful here. But players on the field will have chat about it and come to the correct, correct resolution. So, trust in that and looks like we're going to be off again. Fighter Weapons School with the disc. About halfway here. Taken pretty easy. Nice bloody shot. Oh, well collected. And then a bigger round shot. He's tipped. Oh, and that's a great second effort goal. Way to stay with it. Keep Get your hands underneath. If you're not going to get it the first time, the second time will do. Frisbee Watch really being punished there for their overthrows. Uh, the, they weren't really punished that much in their previous game for those little mistakes. But this game, uh, they'll probably find that it's definitely... The tempo has definitely changed and those little errors that they make yeah, will definitely be punished and Fighter Weapon School won't make it easy for them to get the disc back. Yeah, they've shown 
a lot of offensive proficiency and just like calm and possession oriented play so far. So that's really good. It's really nice to see, uh, particularly on the beach where defense is already incredibly difficult. Fighter Weapon School with a pool now. Let's see if they can match it up with some defensive intensity or some big plays. Let's see if they can mirror their offensive clinicalness. The wind hasn't played so much of a big factor in this game as it did in the previous uh, previous games. So hopefully Frisbee Watch can really convert off this one. Rowan Hess now with the disc, finds Taylor in the middle of the field. To Sean Johnson, but couldn't quite get it on the second effort. Yeah, it was a tough shot, coming in fast, that little inside break. Elected not to take his first open option, but would have been a nice place to get the disc, but hard catch when it's coming in that fast. Fighter weapon school, attacking the end zone here, They're just out the front, or oh, breaks the own, breaks faked. Uh, likes to go back into the middle, good safe play. Oh, it's a nice long shot to an open cutter in the space. Fighter weapon school, looking really good on offense there. Great patience out front in the end zone. Yeah, Bree Savage just getting completely open there on the open side of the field. Her defender could do nothing about that one there. Well then, really nice throw leading away from the players and out into space there. So, really good to see. Showing some really clinical offense there, Fighter Weapons School. They dumped nicely, brought the disc to the break side of the field and then brought it back nicely to the open side to score. Really using the width of the field nicely. Yeah, they've shown themselves to be just a couple steps ahead offensively than this Frisbee Watch team so far. And let's really earn them a break. They're up 3-1. Looking commanding in the early part of this game. But Frisbee Watch by no means demoralized or disheartened. They're looking good and athletic. I still back them in for this game. Still early days in this game. They could still definitely bring that one back. All right. And here they go. Let's show what they can bring us on this offense here. Big pull from Dan Gladish all goes completely out the back of the field. Yeah, pulling on the beach. Not about pulling as far as you can, but it's not nearly as far, but you got to find the hang time somewhere else. you got to find the hang time. got to try and position it nicely, either to a sideline or the back of the end zone. Brought in by Ben Chong. Oh, big fake. Puts the around. Amy Lee just couldn't bring it in. On the shot goes. Oh, well, that's a bit at it. But... Not in the he field was there. out of field there. All right, and so Frisbee watch with an opportunity to go the other way here to hold their offense. Finds Bonner on the close sideline to Chong again. He puts it up. Oh, he's asking a lot of his receiver. Oh. That's a great bit and what a grab! That was awesome. Wow, Ben Chong asking a lot, but hey. This man's got the legs, and that was an unbelievable grab. Team getting around him. It was an amazing put. It was an amazing grab. Floated so nicely down that sideline. Yeah, Ben Chong doing a lot for this for his Baywatch team so far. Really showing his class with the disc, and he's a really efficient undercutter. Seen him get a good few steps on a bunch of players on this fighter weapon score. It seems to command a lot of the disc when he's on the field. Really likes to run the offense for them. <laughs> Look, there's no issue with that. He's doing very, very well. <laughs> Frisbee watch now with the pull by Luca Gondanzini. Learned from Dan Gladish's mistake and put it nicely in the center of the field. Fido Weapon School now bringing it down. To, with Mel Dodd on the far sideline. She puts it up. 
but there's not really anyone underneath it. And it seems like it's gone to a bit of a pack and out the far sideline. Yeah, there's a lot of air under that one, a lot of time for players in the area to scream in there. Ben Duvan and Warden doing a great job of getting in amongst the play. Brought in by Dylan Lye for Frisbee Watch. Finds Gondanzini straight through to no one. There was a few looks there from people being like, oh, was that for you? Was that for me? Yeah, just sort of split the middle there. Thread of the needle. And now, Fido Evans School going the other way. Jinx with the disc at the moment. Incredible phrase there. Laidlaw with the disc. Not got a lot of options. Sudet coming from the sideline. I backed that play. Dwarven Warden with the disc. Fido Weapon School doing a great job Outstretched here. Outstretched Gondanzini can't get the D. Oh, and Jinx has the disc. And he's stabilizing here, but he's looking long. Oh, and that's a beautiful cross field inside. And it's just too much touch. Mahamaziz with the D. Plucks it out of the air. Now with Dylan Lai. He puts it up. Big outside in. Wow, that's a great play. Jinx was just up and in the area and all over that defense. So late shot straight down the sideline. Probably not what they're really looking for here. And Fighter Weapon School have slipped a bit. Oh, as they come in for a great play. Saving the disc. Dwyven Warden has it. Fighter Weapon School looking dangerous here. A lot of players behind the disc. This oh, and he's off and he's screaming there, Jinx, but he can't hold onto the disc just behind him. Looks a bit messy on that far sideline there, Rob. There just seemed to be a lot of people in a little bit of space. Yeah, and Jinx was screaming in. Looking to make a real difference there, but just unable to connect on the throw. So Frisbee Watch, chance to re-establish themselves offensively here as they go the other way. I think there's a pick call. I think that's why the option wasn't there. Oh, well. Disc has gone back. There's been a bit of discussion happening. They'll be able to work it out and let's have a chat about it. But Frisbee Watch need, need to get a bit of momentum going. They've uh, executed short throws out front of the end zone a few times here. Um, Alexin really get going as they seem to look like a bit stuck on their end zone. There's been another call. I think there was a, uh, a stall out called from the look of that. Disc is. Disc yeah, that's an uncontested stall. That's an that's uncontested stall. Great D there from uh, from Fido Weapons School to force that. Yeah, not really any options coming after that pick. So let's see if they can put it in on O here. Nice, beautiful wide shot, arcing well, up and quick. Caught by Bree Savage there. All right, Frisbee Watch really need to, uh, I think, clean up their offense a bit. Maybe talk talk about uh, having who's going to be cutting where, what space they're looking for. The space is just looking a little bit clogged and they can't seem to get it to their intended receivers. Yeah, I think they're relying on athleticism a lot at this stage, uh, which is not necessarily a bad option, particularly on the beach. You can just really, really outrun and outgrind people. Uh, but it's early in the tournament, so it's clearly not working for them. It'd be nice to see them play a little more structured, uh, work, to set up their cards a little bit more. Just exploding out of space only takes you so far. I completely agree. In uh, in the earlier game with Frisbee Watch, they set up some a nice three-man horror, isolated their, uh, their middle receiver, and then got some flow from there. I think they need to probably have that discussion again and go back to that play, and uh, they might find that they'll be able to find the space a bit better. Absolutely, and they got the physical skills to execute it. So Frisbee Watch a little bit behind in this game, but absolutely have the tools to take it to fight a weapon school currently leading 4-2 pool goes up from fighter weapons and drops right in front of the end zone and rolls to the back that's an incredible oh that's pool. a great pull stayed in the back of the end zone oh big huck goes up dom evans is underneath it and that's a sick bid from jazzy Unreal. Screams down there and takes that grab. <laughs> Big strip there. Big strip there from Amy Lee. 
That's all right. Off the back of that incredible D by Ender. Fight away from school going the other way. And they've shown us they can get it done on offense. This looks like a real nice stack. They're showing a lot of separation. And, oh, great alternating cuts. As he can't make that grab. Now working hard to get back on D. Going to be picked up by Gareth Taylor. Oh, puts a very nice inside out backhand, break backhand. Dom Evans can't quite get there though. Yeah, just slightly not enough touch. If he gives that a bit more inside out or angles it upwards a little bit, give the float that it would have needed and slowed it down a little bit, let his receiver get it there. But it's a good look, but not executed. Fight a weapon school with the opportunity now. It's been a few turnovers at this point. Oh, that's, oh that's a great beard there. Gareth Taylor redeeming himself. Incredible. And Frisbee Watcher out the front now. They've got to hold on to it here. Can't get undisciplined. Mel Sean Johnson. Oh. Flicks it around. Tries to trick him out. There was a, a lot of faking there. And I think that might be a, a stall out. Yeah. Another uh, uncontested stall out. Yeah, it's not great from this Frisbee Watch offense. They need to be taking the early options in the count. You shouldn't be afraid of a stall. You've got to keep that disc moving, keep the defense off their feet. Oh, and that's a miscue on a deep shot from Fighter Weapons. He was making a good cut, turned under, and then committed to the under, I think. Matty Hall seemed pretty committed to try and get there, though. He gave, gave that a good whirl. Yeah, nothing wrong with having a crack, but... A throw was not meant for him. It was a very spicy throw as well. Indeed. So, Frisbee Watch, show us your friends. They're going to get this quick. Sean Johnson looks like he wants oh. to put it up. He gets hand blocked though. Oh. Amy Lee! So close. Yeah, really great effort at that one, but Frisbee Watch just unable to get two passes in a row. Fighter weapon school with a ruthless and efficient punish. That's been the story earlier in this game. It's been the repeating story written on every page there, Rob. Uh, just every time Frisbee Watts turn over, Fighter Weapons School just showed very clinical offense and score from it. Yeah, Frisbee Watch definitely still on the chance. They have a lot of options there, but occasionally getting stuck with the disc, hanging on to it for a bit too long and looking for a really hard throw. Well, you know, I think they need to get a bit of momentum, get some quick disc movement in there, look to be moving it on one to two because this... Big marks of Fighter Weapon School are really harassing the Frisbee Watch throwers. Yeah, it seems like Frisbee Watch have had two, uh, two uncontested stall outs uh, quite close to their uh, end zone. Could be a case that they're getting end zone eyes and forgetting to look at their dumps. All right, well, that can be the difference maker here as it's 5 2 Fighter Weapon School. And a strong line for Frisbee Watch here. Big pull from Gladish. And he again puts it out the back of the end zone. Yeah, that one a lot closer than the last one. But Someone needs to revoke driving, his pulling license. Absolutely. It's not elite level pulling, Gladish. <laughs> ben Chong with the disc. Looking, looking, looking. Oh, and just Can't overshoots find his the receiver. Inside. All right, fire weapon score going the other way. Resetting well around the disc. They've got the first half, but they're not really pushing much into the field. Jinx with the disc right out the front. He needs to reset this one. Fire weapon score happy to go backwards at the moment, but it's fine. They're playing great possession game. Jinx again. Oh, waits. Oh, and puts it right into the hands of Savage. That's amazing work. I think that's Bree Savage with her third goal now. Yeah, she did tear it up in the end zone. And that was really nice playing for Fighter Weapon School. I really liked how they were happy to reset it backwards and sideways and then give the time and space for a cutter to come open as a timeout has been called. Yeah, Frisbee Watch, yeah, wanting to just probably have a little bit of a chat, try and reset themselves, reset their offense, find a new angle to work with because uh, what they're doing now just isn't quite getting there. Yeah, it's... I like this nice and early call. They're down 6-2, so these games are only 45 minutes. Um, so you can't really afford to get 
lose the lead and hope to claw it back later. You just won't have the time on the beach. If, uh, if you were going into the Frisbee Watch uh, chat there, Rob, what would you be chatting to them about right now? We've got to have a change, and it's got to come now. We can't let this game get away from us. We've got to change up the style. Don't get stagnant with the disc. Move it and throw it. We just need to do a little more disc movement, make it a lot easier for them. The great athletes already, we've seen their ability to find space and move the disc. Uh, it's just where occasionally they get clogged and someone will hold onto the disc for too long and get stalled out. Yeah, I agree there. They've, they've had a couple of stall outs now, so we have seen that they're holding on for the di holding onto the disc for just a little bit too long um, and they just need to be able to give themselves, make good cuts, give themselves clean, open options uh, so they can just move the disc quickly. Yeah, so hopefully they're going to have a chat about that and change something coming out at half time. Uh, Fighter Weapon School, very jovial, having a good old chat amongst friends and having feeling good. Big buffer at this point in the game, and they're just happy to be here, having a great time. And there's a few more serious nods and foot stamps coming out of that for his Baywatch yeah, timeout. Fighter Weapon School should definitely be feeling good about how they're playing right now. They're playing good, clean offense, uh, some good defense, which has been seen by uh, by the stallouts, which we, which have happened. So are they just be wanting to to continue with that? And you know, all power to them. I think that they should. Absolutely. So we're about 25 minutes into this game, so just push past halfway. And Frisbee Bay Watch flag getting held up there. Incredible merch levels here on the field. Seeing some good jerseys out there. I wonder, I wonder which jersey is going to win the tournament this year. Yeah, it's always a tough one. There's a few good entrants. I think this Fighter Weapon School have a pretty good shot. I'm not necessarily a fan of the super long sleeve, but Epaulets are doing it for me. I agree there. I agree there, Rob. They are. They do look very good. Those jerseys. I just can't play in long sleeves. Gotta let my arms be free. Be free, you know. So we're gonna come out of this timeout, expecting to see some adjustments from this Frisbee Watch team. That it's not necessarily an intensity or a bit of focus. It's just a slightly different tweak in their play. Could make a huge difference. And if they're able to start holding these offense, then they could start clawing back this deficit because they've shown their ability to get blocks on fighter weapon school. So let's see how we go. It's coming out. No, no. Bit of a rolly pull there. Hess now with Hess. Finds Gondanzini and he looks deep but couldn't see any options. Wants the dump, wants the dump. Finds Taylor. Back to Hess on the break side. He puts it up. Overthrows the receiver in the end zone though. It's rough. You could see they were showing signs of that sort of stagnancy before. The wannabe super decisive and hit the dumps early. But they are able to reset it there. They seem to have, uh, they had two two dumps back with the handler there and there was just a bit of confusion it seemed between who was getting the dump, who wasn't getting the dump. Might have just clogged the space a little bit for them as well. But they've at least made Fighter Weapon School have the whole field to work it as they get off to a start and intercepted immediately. Looks for the quick punish and that's what Frisbee Watch are looking for. Quick points on the board. 6-3. Yeah, overthrowing disc there from uh, Chris Ende. Uh, Hess just, just picked that one out through the air nicely and his receiver, Gondanzini, switched on very quickly to give him uh, a cut to the break side and then a nice backhand out. Yeah, Fighter Weapon School really need to hold on here. They need to be putting away their offensive points efficiently like we saw at the start of this game. If they let Frisbee Watch back into this game... They'll get onto a roll, they'll get excited, fight up, and then they'll be looking at a comeback. Yeah, then they'll try and try and make the claw back. If, uh, if Fighter Weapon School give them too many options here, I reckon that could definitely could definitely become an evenly matched game. The change has got to come now. No point delaying. As the wind just completely picked up then. 
it's going to be reasonably breezy, particularly in the afternoon, get that sea breeze, and it's going to make throwing harder, but hopefully everybody's warmed up. It's fighter weapon school, Jinx with a disc coming out on offense now. Oh, what an amazing grab. Unbelievable. She has been killing it and it shoots long again. Oh, a little bit of rush of blood to the head. Not quite nailing the conservation of greatness there. Fighter weapon school. Huge plays. All swing, no ding. That point. This is going to be brought in by Dodgen for Frisbee Watch. Chong's going to be a dump, an integral part of the uh, Frisbee Watch offense he is. Looking for options now. Tries to put the big around, but he can't find it. Hits Maham in the center of the field. That's a beautiful round break. With Margie Dixon now. She wants an option. She wants an option. Oh! Threads the inside to dodge in, but just fumbles and drops. Yeah, coming in real hot there. Might have been wanting to look for that wider swing. Jinx has the disc now off. Sneaky flick inside. On this close sideline now, Savage with a disc. Looks back into the center. Moves it through. Oh, Dylan Lai tried for the layout D, but couldn't quite get there. Wow. Jinx going straight down in the middle, finds Savage again. She has been all over this game. Nigh on unguardable in the end zone. And Seems to be a familiar connection. It's making good money for them now as they take half. Take half, 7-3, giving themselves a nice buffer. Frisbee Watch had some good plays there. Just had some uh, some small errors and fighter weapon school in showing what they've done this whole game, punish them for it. Yep. So, of course, there's no actual halftime break, but there is a mirror half, so the teams will switch ends and possession will change. And these... These two teams has have opted to not take any time at the half at the half. Yeah, as with most things in Frisbee, the captains agree. You can do whatever you like. And Within you, reason. <laughs> of course. There are rules to be followed, of course. And Fighter Weapon School with a four point lead. Frisbee watch coming out on offense again, so this is where they need to be. They need to put this one in nicely and efficiently. They need to show that they can do that. And then bring the defensive pressure we know they can bring against Fighter Weapons School. Big backhand there from Chris Endy. And another brick. Another brick from Fighter Weapons School. Yeah, maybe they're just trying to see if they can throw it as far as they can. Or maybe they're three steps ahead and they're making Frisbee Watch take it from a stopped disc on the brick mark because they know their stopped disc offense is not as good. If that's the case, they some very good tactics. Absolutely. This is some five-dimensional chess here being played by Fire Weapon School. On the big Gareth shot Taylor up. just puts it up. Couldn't quite connect with Dom Evans, though. Quite a nice throw. It's a very nice throw. Just wasn't, just didn't sit up enough. Oh, and one misconnection deserves another. Gladys gives it right back. Frisbee Watch now with another chance on the far sideline. Going to be picked up by Gareth Taylor. Very stagnant offense there from Frisbee Watch. They can't seem to find anyone. Doesn't engage the dump until quite late. Gets it to Chong, though. Anchor of their offense, and he puts it up. And Tom Evans just stands there. Just stands there and fields the disc for a score. Unbelievable. Perfect read on Gladish going up nice and early. Didn't look like getting that block. Gladish uh, looking a bit disappointed with himself for completely misreading that one. It's fine. We're all also disappointed here. <laughs> Shout out to Gladish's parents. And looks like Frisbee Watch are in with a shot here. That was pretty good offense. Got a bit stagnant there, but they managed to make it happen. And look, it's on the breach. It's always going to be a little bit scrappy. Can't be perfect. I think Frisbee Watch got a little bit lucky there, um, just with the misread from uh, from Gladish, because they were very, very stagnant on their offense and didn't have many options. So that definitely looks like it could have been turned had it been read properly. Clinging on here, though. 
Still three points the difference. Gonna need a big D. They can definitely do it with the with the way the wind's picked up slightly. If they play smart, they can definitely get the D back. Yeah, this is a very strong line from Fido Weapon School. Their women have been doing a lot for them, particularly on the receiving end. This game, so if we can get more out of Dodd and Savage. Oh, is their maker life so tough? But she pulls it in anyway. Amazing work by Taylor. Holds onto the disc there. Goes back into the center, oh. but just bonked it by Blacklock. And Frisbee Watch. Frisbee Watch knocking right on the end zone door here, picking it up by Johnson with those fantastic skins he has on. He's got to be patient here. Oh, and, and that's a cheeky dad backhand. He throws the dad backhand. Really bringing it out and showing us everything that he can do. He's thrown a lefty scuba in the game before, Rob. Absolutely. So he's a tricky one, but sometimes that's the man you want, picking up the disc at the front of the end zone with a well-set-up one-player ISO. So Brings it. Frisbee brings it back to two. It's two in a row for them. Let's see if they can back it up. They really need to get on a big run here. Whatever they spoke about at halftime, it's, uh, it's obviously worked for them. Yeah, let's see if they can pick up the pace, though. They've got about 10 minutes left, and there's only two goals behind, so they're all right. But if they really want to take command of this game, another s string of two or three points in a row would be amazing. Do have a little bit of work to do here, but... I, th I think they have it in them. Let's let's see and let's hope. Absolutely. And then, of course, we all know it's the team with the most points at the end of the game. The wins. So, doesn't matter what they're going on now. Big they're flick pull. They're looking as athletic as ever. Gladish with the disc. Fighter weapon school coming out on offense here. Beautiful arounds to start. Oh, and a nice grab that picks cold, but it looked good. Incredible plays from Litsu. Points for style there. She gets points for style. She made that look easy. It was incredible. Gladish has the disc now. Finds Laidlaw in the center. Back to Gladish. Getting every other at the moment. Oh, and that is an incredible block. Layout D from Gondanzini. All right, Frisbee watch offense here. Here we go. Let's see if we can bring it to a one-point Picked point up game. by Taylor to Gondanzini. Back to Taylor. Goes, goes big. Wants to put it to Gondanzini. Maddie hauls on his tail, and it sails out. Uh, that's tough. That was a really nice cut. You could see he was coming, went up the line for that break, and then just went screaming down the break side. Shot it was a good option, but just way too much sit on that. It would have been a... Nice little blade might have dropped in on his head. Oh, unreal. Gladys is making everybody's life difficult today, but that is just an incredible grad from Savage. She is just getting it done for this fighter weapon school team. Move it up the sideline. Hall with a disc. Shoots long. He's got receivers. Oh, Gladys. Gladys with a little bit of a misread there again. Having a tough day of it, but his team's still ahead. Frisbee watch. They need to show that they can get it done here. Giving themselves a chance. They keep putting themselves in a position to have a crack at this offense. Eventually, they're going to get it to go. So Gareth Taylor's bringing the disc back in. I wonder if he's going to be looking for his uh, looking for Gondanzini again. Deep. Oh, finds Lee, but she seems to misread it, fumbles it, and it turns, giving it back to Fighter Weapon School. High defense, you can see a lot of good athletic stances. Defensive players are engaged here. Oh, and Gladish gives it away. Gladish drops and it, gives it straight back. This is where Frisbane Watch need to move quicker. They're really walking to every disc after a turnover. I move. agree with you there, Rob. They're getting too stagnant. Gondanzini with the backup. Oh! oh the backup shot, unbelievable! That was awesome! Incredible. It's a really nice shot dropping in on the receiver, but just bonked it out of her hands. But everything we do, we do as a team. She and that tipped is a great it. She tipped it just enough for Gondanzini to get there on the layout grab. That's incredible. And we're about it here. Frisbee Watch really put it on a show in this second half of the game here, bringing it back to one point game. It's 7 6.
They've got to keep this momentum up. And it looks like Fighter Weapon School has used their timeout. Good use of timeouts in this game. Of course, uh, each team only receiving one for the game. They we can remember that Frisbee Watch used theirs quite early in the game to make those offensive adjustments. And coming out of that timeout, they've looked a lot better. They're really amped up, and their defense is as good as ever. So, and that's why they've brought themselves back into this game and fight a weapon school. Looking to stabilize themselves. I don't know if they necessarily want to change a lot, but I think they need to bring the defense here and close out with discipline. They can't let themselves get too relaxed just because they're ahead a bit. I'd agree there. Fighter Weapons School uh, haven't scored uh, since half time uh, with Frisbee on, going on a, a four point run now. So they'd be wanting to try and break the momentum with this timeout, uh, try and reset themselves and just reset the basics. They seem to be having a few cold drops, um, misreads and that. So just wanting to reset themselves, uh, fix those things and uh, play some clinical clinical offense now to try and get, this, uh, get their lead back and close the game out. Yeah. I would call this a strategically defensive timeout. It's nice. And we're back out on the field now. Talk about some tactically defensive plays. Let's see what Frisbee, what you've got now. So you might want to throw a wrinkle into the Spider Weapon School offense here. Frisbee, watch have got a sneaky defensive change up up their sleeve. This could be a real good time to throw it and just throw Fighter Weapon School off their course because they've absolutely talked about what they wanted to here, but Ex they're forcing them to adjust before they're able to get into it. Could be a power move. Exactly. Frisbee wanting to play some really, really tight defense, try and force those errors that we've seen in Fighter Weapon School previously. All right. So, full landing in the back end zone, and that's all right. We've advanced it. Taking it easy here. Taylor with the disc. Finds a teammate inside Dodd oh, oh Frisbee Frisbee jump. get the turn that they need Fighter Weapon School with a, just an execution error in the dumps there Johnson with the disc what's he going to pull out here an open side throws you an open side cutter Frisbee Watch level it up it's 7-7 seven, seven. that's a 5 point run from Frisbee Watch they've done an amazing job of injecting themselves back into this game and Fighter Weapon School haven't responded Great job there from Frisbee. Disc was picked up by Sean Johnson. He was nice and patient, waited for the uh, open option receiver, put it out nice to, nicely to them, and it was uh, caught by Tanya Dodge in there on the open side. Uh, Frisbee now really punishing Fighter Weapons School for their, for their uh, errors, which seems to be a bit of a mirror image to what we saw earlier in the game. Yeah, incredible. And, and Fighter Weapons School just bringing those errors that weren't there previously. That one just an execution error in the dump space. So maybe they're slipping, maybe they're losing focus late in this game. 7-7 seven, seven now and Frisbee watch with all the momentum and all the hype. Come and score him in the back. Only four minutes left to go of this game as well. So it will be interesting to see, to see how our fighter weapon school can try and bring themselves back. Yeah, they've really got to get their mojo back. They're just not looking good as Chris Andy gets nutty by the disc. Oh! Incredible pressure. Oh! <laughs> and that's Chris May watch. Unbelievable. They've that was amazing. They've taken the lead 8-7. That was incredible. Slight miscue, a lot of defensive pressure, and an immediate punish. Gondon Zini went for the layout bid on the first throw was enough to put the receiver off and Gareth Taylor just picked up the crumbs there on the behind and then scored straight to Gondanzini. Punishing. That was punishing. Unbelievable. Just some incredible work. It's silver lining there. That was a very, very quick point. So if that had gone off for some time, we might have hit time cap, but we've still got some time to go. So Fighter Weapon School can still be in this. They just have to, just have to knuckle down and and get this one. Absolutely, but Frisbee Watch coming out on defense here. Once again, it's going to be Taylor with the disc. Advances to Gladish. Gladish fakes. Disc with Dweven Vorden on, on the close sideline. Dumps it backwards. Makes it difficult for her. Gladish jinking around the back. And it looks like there's a call there. Might have been a stalling infraction there, but this is a 
yeah, I couldn't see any hand signals, so it's been a violation. And that would be people coming in too quickly. So we're about to get back underway here in uh, Fighter Weapons School. Need to be moving the disc a little more quickly than this. They're not quite playing scared, but it's close. Dodd with the disc. It's been fearless so far. Finds Dwyane Vaught and he shoots long. That one's sailing the wrong way, but Gladys takes the grab. That's 8-8, eight, eight, Fighter Gladys Weapons School. Gladys brings it back. That's their first score since half time, and really, we waited until the last possible opportunity to get that one done, and now it's 8-8. Eight, eight. It's a tight game, and I've, I've loved every second of it thus far. I'm, this game could go either way, and both teams are going to have to play hard defense and clinical offense now to keep possession, to get possession, keep possession, and score. Absolutely. So you can feel the intensity rising. As time count will come any second now, be during this point for sure. So, so uh, it'll be game to ten. It'll be a game to ten. That's exactly right, Rob. Regardless who scores. So a couple in it now. A real quick, sneaky break like that one Frisbee watch got before would be absolutely incredible. But fighter weapons school have got to show some real defensive intensity here. Pull coming up from Fighter Weapon School. There goes the Hooter. It'll be a game to 10. Ben Chong fields the disc. Finds Bonair. Dishes over to Dodgen. She looks long, doesn't put it. This is very Finds Chong play. again. He wants to hit break side, doesn't. To Tan, back to Chong. Really running the offense here for them. Puts it out nicely. Overthrows though, and Dis just sails out the back of the end zone. It was a really nice looking offense. I really like their ability to work unders and have the handlers follow and get those dishes. They executed that a couple of times. Chong was at the core of that the second time, but I think he was just getting a bit carried away with himself and throwing that on the run, put a bit too much sauce under it, and he's not able to connect. They seem like a very different team to what we saw in the, uh, the very first half of the game, though. They had a lot more flow. Their offense wasn't as stagnant as it was, and they seemed to be finding the space nicely for their receivers. Yeah, I think it might be because they're amped up and they're on a run. They've got a lot of momentum, and if they're initiating the cuts early, just playing really aggressive and attacking early, it's going to make it much clearer, and it's very easy to get flow off that, and players are already open at the right time. So I think they're building off their hype. As the shot goes up from fighter weapons, Hall is underneath Hands it. Hands underneath it. Oh, Tan gets a hand to it. Goes up strong and early. Not weighed down by his sleeves at all. Gets Walk, a hectic block there. Walks away from the disc though and says, I don't want it. Leaves it for Chong. That's a man who is in it to catch goals. Oh, that's not a throwing. beautiful break flick. Finds Tan. Tan puts it up. Receiver underneath. Laidlaw Sarah can't Chow get there. underneath it. Sarah Chow with the score. All right, that's a 9 8 Frizz Baywatch. Fighter Re Weapon School need to score this one to, to bring it back to Universe. Absolutely. Frizz Baywatch with game point here. They're looking really amped. They're playing off the back of some really big plays. It's just, it's all energy and it's all amp and it's all them at the moment. Fighter Weapon School's still look rattled. They've if, scored once this half. If, uh, if Freeze Bay Watch can, can win this one, I think that would almost be, you know, the comeback of the century so far. They they've came on a really, uh, really big streak to get that, to call that score back. Yeah, well, they're in the box seat right now. They're in prime posi to take out this game. Coming out on defense, if they can get a turn, then they can close this one out, and that would be two Ws, uh, on the live stream for them thus far. Back to back, no less. As the pool goes up, Gladys will field for fire to weapon school. Ooh, and he let that one sail out the back, so. More bricks than a house today, but that's okay. I think the players might be glad for a little extra walking time. Could this hurt them though, Rob? Fighter Weapons School have had some, uh, were seeing some trouble there the past couple of points in finding some, finding their open players. Yeah, but I think they've got the long shots and that's a great grab and they stabilize. Back to Gladish in the center here. 
Advancing in again there. Savage with the Taylor with the disc, sorry. Takes around, doesn't need no dump. Dodd with the disc. Dodd showing a lot of patience. Gladish barely getting oh. free. Finds end. And shoots to the end zone. Oh, that's just out of the reach. It just takes slightly too long. That's unbelievable. Frisbee that's playing such tight defense there. There were probably about three bidding players in a row just trying to get a fingertip to that one. Yeah, and they've closed that window just enough to make it challenging and end unable to complete on that. Receiver not expecting that level of defensive pressure. And Frisbee, watch, a chance to ice the game here. Wind just really picked up for uh, for that second there. Could be a gift for fighter weapons, but the shot goes up regardless. Oh, not Margie Dixon just couldn't quite get that one. Just takes a second to compose herself and stand back up. Gladish with the disc shoots. That one's floating. There's players in the area. Gondanzini goes, thank you very much. That'll be mine. And gets the, mo the disc moving very quickly. Good, so this is much better from Frisbee. Watch. Oh, oh. put some spice in your life, but. Natalie Taylor with the disc. Finds Gondon. Oh, Gondonzini with a cold drop gives it straight back to them. He was already looking for that to throw the goal next up. So fighter weapon school going the other way. Gladish with the disc. Oh, and that one way over the top and out of the field. Oh, that's not the use of the opportunity that they wanted. Fris Frisbee watch, get it back again. Probably, I think, third or fourth opportunity to score this point now. There'll be tired legs happening. Absolutely, they've got to persevere through this offense here and throw well. Taylor to Gondanzini on this close sideline to Dixon. To there is a pick call. This wind has really changed direction. It's really making it hard late in this game. This could be a boon for Fighter Weapons School if they can you know, slow down this Frisbee Watch offense, which has seemed fragile at times, but is working well for them right now. All of this energy Sorry, working for Taylor them. Taylor to dodge and she puts it up. And the wind just pushes it out the sideline. Yeah, there was maybe an opportunity for a tow that one in, but the wind just pushing that away. Shame there, Frisbee Watch letting the game slip away as Gladish puts that one into the air, hoping that someone will get it, but his prayers are not answered today. As his player is free on offense now, and Frisbee Watch get the disc moving early. So now to Gondanzini in the center of the field. Back to Hess. Oh, he puts it up as well. Dodgen's free in the end zone. Frisbee and that's, Watch have done it. That's the game. Frisbee Watch come back for a screamer. Win that one 10-8 after previously being down 7-2. So an amazing performance late in this game by Frisbee Watch. Really put it all on the line and just throwing Fighter Weapon School out of their groove and they just weren't able to respond. That was, that was an amazing comeback. That was an amazing uh, game to see. Really watched Frisbee Watch coming to their own. They really struggled in those first couple of points to to find the flow, find the offense, but they managed to do it and they managed to punish Fighter Weapon School in the end there for every turn that they had. Incredible work. Thanks for watching this game. Stick around, we've got a whole bunch more amazing Frisbee coming to you live from here in Coolangatta on the Gold Coast, Australia. This is the Australian Beach Ultimate Championships. I've been your commentator, Rob Swan, and I've been joined by Oakley Ryan. Thanks guys, chat to you again soon. TV.